Hey everybody, I'm Scott Stanford, host of OG Sports here on Only Good TV. We're on the lookout for inspiring sports stories, amazing athletes, and one-of-a-kind comebacks. Today we're meeting Jordan Schusterman and Jake Mintz. Now you may not heard of those fellows before, but if you're at all interested in the world of professional baseball, you have definitely heard of their blog and their Twitter account. It's called Cespedes Family Barbecue. These two boys started their Twitter as a way to express their love of baseball. And I have to tell you, it has ballooned into a full-time career with fans all over the world and even professional players becoming their close friends. But these boys aren't just using their fame for stats. They're also using it for good. All right, so listen, fellas, you guys are taking the, the, the social media digital world by storm. It all started with the Cespedes family barbecue. And, you know, I, I remember when uh, Ioannis was, was, was baking that pig. Tell me how you guys came up with this whole... Cespedes family barbecue idea. To be honest with you, at the beginning, we just wanted to replicate what the people we liked were doing. Like we just wanted to be a part of the baseball community online. And we never thought that it would be what it is now. Um, and so when we came up with the name, it was like, okay, what's something we like that's a little bit um, off track, that's a little bit different, that's a little bit interesting, that's a little bit new to us, you know, and a little bit eccentric. Right. A little bit spectacular, and Johannes Cespedes sending that highlight tape of himself in to all 30 teams, including the part of him roasting the pig, yeah. was incredible. I mean, obviously, if we could have chosen something a little shorter, a little more, like, <laughs> didn't require, like, 20 minutes of context, like, probably would have done that. And but... I think at the beginning, the name helped because mm -hmm. it was super inside baseball that, like, if you knew yeah. about Johannes and you knew about his background, you knew the reference, right? And I think that kind of endeared us to a lot of people in that were in baseball that were like, that's a, that is interesting. That's a funny name. Original helped you stand out. Uh, you know, I mean, it caught my attention. How'd you guys meet each other? Well, like any uh, good friendship in the 21st century, we met at synagogue. Uh, and it is fitting as we come to celebrate. <laughs> we didn't like each other at that yeah, point. Yeah, at that point, we were still kind of rivals or in the middle school age. Uh, but what, then later, what, what, yeah. What was it about each other? Uh, Jake, what was it about him you didn't like? Well, it, we just kind of occupied a very similar space as like the loud blonde kid who like did, had ADHD and liked sports and wouldn't <laughs> shut up. Tell me, you know, what you guys have been on, where this barbecue idea uh, of, of blogging and whatnot has led you guys to right now because you, the two of you are really just blowing up. Yeah, sure. So, I mean, when we were in school in the summers, we would be taking uh, road trips all around the country and seeing mostly minor league games. And that's when we really kind of developed our ability to talk to players themselves and get to know them and do interviews and stupid video ideas that they would not be used to doing. And it helped a lot because we were a lot of the times the same age or even younger than the players that we were talking to. Yeah. And I think that was something that they weren't used to because they're used to talking to guys 30 years older than them. And like, that's just the nature of the media. And so we had that advantage. Once we crafted that, we were doing some writing for a variety of different uh, sites. We were doing baseball prospectus mostly. And then we did, did a road trip the last summer before senior year for MLB.com. And then that's who we ended up joining uh, after we graduated college. Uh, and then, of course, the podcast, which kind of we were doing very much on our own, took a break, and then recently now has come back uh, for the ringer. I love it, man. Well, listen, so, you know, you guys are, are making a good name for yourselves and the you know, Cespedes family barbecue. Talk about, I mean, you, you're turning this notoriety now into something that's really, you know, not only works in your favor, but you're also, uh, you know, donating your time and your energy uh, to raising money for, for a great cause. Tell me about Martha's Table. Tell me about the fundraisers you guys do and how much you've raised so far. And, and you know, what does Martha's Table represent? What do they do? So Martha's Table is a uh, community organization and food bank in DC. It is an organization that like, when I was in elementary school, like as kids, like we would mm -hmm. go and do stuff for them all the time. And you know, when you're a kid and your teachers take you to do community service projects, like a lot of that washes by you, but for whatever reason, like Martha's Table always like stuck in my head. When COVID hit and all these people were out of jobs and out of work and didn't have money to eat. And it was like, I was sitting in my parents' house like a bum with frankly, like a guaranteed contract to talk about baseball. And like right. that motivated us, motivated me to like, okay, let's do something. We have a hundred thousand people who are following us online. Like they've all gotten everything we've ever tweeted for free. Right. Like, 
I'm sure that enough of them are good people that yeah. they'd be willing to donate some money. So I reached out to Martha's Table, ended up raising, I believe, around 8,000 bucks for Martha's Table, which was great. And we had people put their favorite baseball player as the description for their donation. Oh, nice. And I ended up kind of tallying who everyone picked as their favorite player. It's just cool to be able to give back to an organization that, like Jake said, like I remember too, like that was just the one where it's like, they are doing good work. It's more than just raising money, right? It's like using what we have to stand up for the things that we believe in. And like, I I see that now as a responsibility, as almost like an obligation. Like if we have a platform, if you're not using it, like what yeah. are you doing? Like what's the point, right? And so well, I think that's where we sit on. You don't need to have fundraisers to raise money. How could folks give money if they want to do it just from watching you guys now, you know, any time of the year? I'm sure Martha's table is always open, uh, you know, to donations all year round. Yeah, I mean, you just Google Martha's Table. Like, it's, it's pretty simple. Something that I love about Martha's Table is that when you go to their website, it is extremely clear the kinds of things that they yes. are doing. Like, you, good, good. they are, it is not just like, here, send money, we're doing good stuff. Like, mm -hmm. it is extremely obvious um, and right. clear proof as to who it is impacting in a positive way. And part of what made me pick that was what Jordan mentioned about kind of the track record is like, an organization like Martha's Table has a footprint in a community, right? Like they have been there for decades. They have connections. They have supply chains. They have, they know what to do in a circumstance like this. Um, who do you guys root for? Jordan, who's your favorite baseball team? Felix Hernandez is my favorite pitcher. I got very into the Mariners Gang. online community and then right. that was my team. So that is my team now, yes. Jake, what about you? I'm a Baltimore Orioles fan. Uh, my mom, her whole side of the family is from Baltimore. Uh, my grandma's a huge Orioles fan. That was passed down to me. I was born the day Ripken tied Gehrig. Wow. My grandma left my mom while she was in labor with me and went to the game to see Ripken instead of seeing me get born. <laughs> Jordan, what's like your best baseball moment for you? What's what's the most oh, man. exciting baseball moment for you? In, in, in your history. We've gotten to see so many cool things that don't even necessarily involve our teams. We were lucky enough to be at the Cubs World Series in 2016. Uh, not game seven at the end in Cleveland, but being at Wrigley for those games, I mean, again, like that is something that I will tell my grandchildren. Like I was at the game, the Wrigley Field World Series. Like that so is fun. the hottest ticket ever. So that is definitely one that stands out. Unreal. What's next for you guys? Where can people find you? Give me all the, all the sites, all the addresses. I know you've you're doing, um, you're still doing the Cespedes family barbecue, right? On Twitter? Yeah. So basically, for us right now, especially this season, is all our focus is on the podcast, uh, baseball barbecue, which we do on the regular podcast network twice a week. Um, and yeah, I mean, on Twitter, is, that's where you're going to find us doing stuff every day for free. <laughs> right. And of course, the podcast is free as well. So those have been our main focuses this year. And then next year, we'll see. I mean, as we've learned this year, a lot can change in a few months. Listen, Jake and Jordan, fellas, thanks for taking a few minutes. Uh, you know, lots of success to you guys. Keep doing what you're doing. Trust you. me, I know it takes, you know, a lot of time and hard work to get to where you want to go. And you got to have a little combination of skill, luck, and knowledge. And I, I think you guys are uh, well on your way. Appreciate that. Thank you, Scott. I really appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Time. And everybody, go donate to Martha's Table. It's a great cause. Fellas, uh, thanks for joining us again, and best of luck. Thank, Thank you. you. Well, my friends, that's all the time we have for today. I want to thank Jordan and Jake again for joining us on this segment of OG Sports. We're always on the lookout for the next inspirational sports hero. So if you know somebody, send them our way, would you? Here at OG Sports, we're always on the lookout for those who are going to change the world. I'm Scott Stanford.